Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Fate Carnival Phantasm and this is called Hibichika Special. Now I I really have no idea what this is about because I feel like like I don't know what Hibichika means. Is this like some kind of an like some character's name or something? Probably because that sounds like some name. I, I'm guessing it's one of the names of the characters that I don't remember. Uh, either from Tsukihime or from Fate, so I'm not sure. And I'm sure we'll get to know here. And uh, yeah, like let's check this out. Like <laughs> these, uh, like you know, these ones, these episodes that I'm watching now, I have no idea what's happening. And uh, the, in the next week, I'm going to uh, watch the react to the um, Ilya Ilya's castle or Ilya Joe, something like that. It's called. I'm going to react to that. So and that will be the end. I feel like. I don't think there's any other Fate Carnival Phantasm related stuff. So yeah, that'll be the end. So yeah, anyways, so let's get started. This is uh, the episode. I, I don't think the episode has any name. It's called Hibijika Special. So yeah, let's start. I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference. And let's get started. All right, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Dive Moon 10th Anniversary. Oh. What the? Playing an RPG? What the? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, well, I know who she is, but yeah, <laughs> how how huge is this? Oh, <laughs> just jump, you know. You jumped very early. Oh no! What the hell is this candle and AI? Oh my god. What? Oh, this is about Gohai's. <laughs> When did Kohages get animated? Tinoko. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> she just wants food. Just, just hold. Her. Give her a hamburger. <laughs> Miss. <laughs> wow, okay, that's um interesting. Oh, Hibika and Chika. Okay, that's the Hiba, Hibichika, I think. Oh, these two. Wait, do we know these cats? Who are they? Are they from Tsukihime or are they from Fate? This girl reminds me of the... That girl from uh, Prisma Elia, you know, in, in the third season, the girl. You know, the girl who meets Elia in the alternate, in the Mewverse. Oh my god. She kind of looks like Rin, doesn't she? Her hairstyle and everything, the way she talks. 
Takeshi? Iroge, okay. Oh my god. Yeah. Humbug. <laughs> okay. So Oh, oh they, they got oh, Okay. You got a, <laughs> What? All right. So, are these like real, like actual characters in the in Sukime or Fate? Like, I don't remember them. Maybe I just forgot. They they got replaced in a few of the scenes. There you go. Oh my god. Wow, this is how it starts. Ugh. Is it called? Oh my- <laughs> Um, hello there. Oh. <laughs> wow, she's gonna take him, I think. The chick. Yep. Oh. What? Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, who's here? Oh, these, these, these girls. You still on TV? Oh yeah, those three. The <laughs> the after school, yeah. Well, they're out of jobs or something. Autographs. <laughs> Uh Oh my god. She's going to <laughs> I also don't know it's called after cool something alliance. <laughs> uh, 
alleyway alliance okay how many times does she break the phone <laughs> oh no shiro and shiki both of them yeah but she wants to save everyone you know <laughs> well higher power <sighs> so are they going to like do it properly this time no wow this phone Probably not. Ah. <laughs> uh. Okay. What's happening? They're all going to the beach? Well, there you go. <laughs> um, what the... Okay. <laughs> Not what? Okay, they're back. After school alleyway alliance. I love Yokohama. Okay. All the car on too, yeah. Um, okay. What, what is it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow, they just shut. Okay. All right. <laughs> and <laughs> throw it away what oh my god what 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 is that oh the okay Was unprecedented with it in the views in episode 4 would uh, uh, yeah fit well between two connected by the web uh, both routes and there you go I, I was just thinking about it. I, I was sure they uh, animated both the routes and was waiting episode 12 this meant to come uh, and not featured in the series <laughs> and these are some hidden footage of that I'm guessing <laughs> but today there you go Lord, I wonder who they will choose. It's probably Saber and Arsiet, most probably. Main heroine, yeah. Arc Saber, there you go. Oh no, I feel like. 
Oh no, I feel like something's... <laughs> I think all of them are going to come somehow or the other. Um... Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> the music! Okay, there you go. I, I'm sure she, he's going to, oh god. He's going to like assign separate hearings for separate days or something like that. That's going to happen. What's happening? Oh no. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> uh, what? Is this Rin? Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. Who is there? Is that Akiha? Or maybe Seal? God. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> Day two. Oh, I thought they were going to like, you know, like he was trying to, he will try to date every one of them. Like each heroine will be like the main heroine in every, each day or something like that. Wait, where is Ren? Oh no. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, it in it. Yeah, it in it. Why does, does those worms look like that? I don't know. I don't know why does <laughs> does those worms look like that. Okay, there you go. There's Rin. Oh my god. Okay. Well. What happened? Did he like put something in the food or something? No, he didn't eat the food. Oh, he skipped. Oh! Oh! oh Rin! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, so everyone becomes a Yandere except Saber, I'm guessing. <laughs> See? <laughs> Oh no, Karir! Oh god! What? <laughs> These are some horrific combinations. <laughs> Wait, where's Ashid? Wasn't she supposed? 
Oh no! Akia's probably waiting here. Akuakun. Okay, well. Oh, Akiha, here we go. What? Um. Oh, yeah, there you go. Hmm. Ah, uh, it's Rin, isn't it? <laughs> the way he's speaking. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, wait, what? Play. Oh, <laughs> it's Rin. Oh my God. Day three. Oh, there's still one day left. Oh my god. What? <laughs> yep, the harem route is the best route. So. Wait, that didn't happen this time. Okay. Wait, wait, the... But that didn't happen this time. This, this time they chose the main heroine route, so... I don't understand. This is supposed to be a different route. They, they chose the correct... Okay. Oh my god. Yo, this, this reminds me of Persona 5 ending. You know, the one where... <laughs> okay. Wait, where's Ilya? Uh... Hmm. <laughs> oh, I guess no. Um. Wow! <laughs> After what? Is this an epilogue or something? Oh my god, what's happening now? Oh no! Yo! <laughs> oh 
Porra. It's even more now. I think they're talking about Nasu, isn't they? The Kinoko Nasu? That's what they're referring to, aren't they? <laughs> what? Yeah, she's the main heroine, isn't it? Oh no. Oh my god, she's here. Wow. Yeah. No? Oh yeah! No, it's, it's not only an ending. No, no, no. It's basically the openings. You know what? Yeah, in endings they also do that. Endings are usually kind of like, you know, just... Catus is just sitting down, melancholic. Oh my god. I don't know who that is. <laughs> okay. I. <laughs> this is all just good. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ben <laughs> True. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my what? Okay. Wow. Um, and that's the end. Okay. Mm. <clears throat> Alright, so let me know who is Hibiki and who is Chikagi? Are they like, are they like Kohai's characters? Is, is that who they are? Like, because I don't remember them from, from Tsukihime nor from, like, obviously they are not in Fate. I'm sure they're not in Fate. But I don't think they're from Tsukihime either. So are they like from Kohai's or something? Let me know because they're talking about Kohai is over here, so I guess. Um, okay, so this episode, yeah. Oh my god, it was like chaos completely. The whole, whole first section was like, you know, the, the, the weird, uh, the, you know, the, the, the chibi characters they kind of <gasps> make. And <clears throat> it's just like, you know, them kind of narrating the whole thing, breaking fourth walls continuously and just... You know, doing weird, crazy stuff. I, I really... <laughs> that part was really funny when... Uh, <clears throat> when Kohaku jumped and... <coughs> there was like a, you know, the Mario thing on, on top and it just hit her and she fell down. Oh my god, that's... <laughs> and then she climbed up again. Okay, so... And then the real thing starts, we get to meet the two characters. Okay, let me read their bio. I think they kind of gave a little bio about Kohaku and Ikagi. Uh, so maybe I'll get to know something about them from there. Okay, there you go. Uh, Chikagi Katsuragi. Hi, 27, weird. Uh, birthday, 29th April. Birth life, blood type, ape, family, mother, father, older sister, like sweet stuff, dogs, dislike spicy stuff. Talents, wisdom ring, and sleeping for 20 hours. Okay, nothing. I got to know nothing from this. Okay, let's read about Chikagi. Uh, no, not Chikagi. Oh, that was Chikagi. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The green haired girl is Chikagi, and this is Hibiki. Okay. Hibi Chika. Alright, alright, okay. 
uh, height uh, with uh, birthday 7 September blood type O family grandfather likes fluffy stuff Chicago sweet <laughs> what uh, dude likes cleaning up cheek directed attacks oh dance cooking making sweets okay wait so then, then there was another character the telephone the phone where is his bio okay there you go okay um cell phone cell phone son uh height weight <laughs> bust weight and oh my god it's 150 150 150 what okay and um, birthday uh likes eroge okay again. late night anime dislike smartphone oh hinge directed attacks talents annoying greenie okay ah my god okay so now these two characters i don't know why obviously like you know these two characters reminded me of some characters uh the green haired girl i think her name is chikagi Maybe chikagi yeah chikagi she obviously we can see she definitely reminds me of rin you know especially the twin tails the way she talks and everything and uh it's a little more uh what can you say like a little more a uh, more uh like you know outspoken than rin like rin is outspoken and is kind of eccentric in some ways but i feel like chikagi is a little bit more like you know the way she was becoming violent and everything rin doesn't do it like that rin becomes violent sometimes but not like this but she obviously her whole vibe was giving me rin vibes while hibiki now hibiki uh, reminds me of uh, i said this while reacting as well that girl from um uh from uh prisma Ilya, you know the one that comes in the when Ilya gets transported to uh muverse and she is there with no one there to help her out and the, a girl comes pops up the girl who's extremely strong and kind of ditzy wearing the gym clothes and the bloomers and everything that girl she reminds me of that girl like you know her whole vibe that she was giving out and <clears throat> her, her hairstyle was also completely same and uh yeah she reminded me of her so that's what they reminded me of like chikagi of rin and that girl of for, the, for that girl i forgot her, uh, her name the one in prismailia <coughs> but okay so now <laughs> at first there was that section where lancer dies again <laughs> karen comes and just takes him in by just shoving money to them <laughs> the cell phone was preaching about how money is just you know like it's like oh my money money this money that and it's always money with you guys isn't it and they just can just shoves a bunch of money to it and he's like drooling and everything <laughs> oh my god all right then comes the uh the alliance the alleyway alliance or whatever their name is <laughs> after school alliance and <laughs> he is Huge fans of them, but unfortunately cannot remember their name. I don't blame her though, because the name is a little bit difficult to remember. <laughs> and then comes Shiki and Shiro, where they are talking about how it was so, like, you know, like they shouldn't have done it. The whole harem route, they shouldn't have went that way. <clears throat> but Shiro's like, oh no, like I want to make everyone happy. And Shiro's like, wait a minute, we should have done this on separate days. That would have been better. And. <laughs> oh my god uh. okay and then like the next scene they go to the beach and then all like you know the, the after school alliance also comes like all these like you know random stuffs are happening and then we get to the big part of this episode where it's written like i kind of knew that this is how they're going to do it they're going to uh, an <clears throat> animate both of the parts you know the one with the main heroine and the one with the um <clears throat> harem root uh you know when they when they did the poll they're going to animate both of them and keep them and they're uh, going to release one of them which wins the poll and the other one they'll release it probably with the ova or special bundle you know and that's what they did there you go like it was it was written that you know like that yeah this is what we did the votes okay total votes twelve thousand no yeah twelve thousand two hundred and three date everyone six thousand five 550 oh close they the main heroine 5651 
quite close. Okay, I thought it would be overwhelmingly, you know, in the date everyone category. Okay, so it was like a very close battle. So, alright, that's why they decided to keep this one, you know, this, this the date heroine, main heroine one, and never show it. But yeah, here we go in the, you know, the extra or the OVA special uh, episode, they're going to do that. And then they said like, okay, there's like these three hellish days. I thought, you know, like it would be like Shiro trying to make each character like the main heroine in every, each day. Now, this is the thing, you know, about Fate. Uh, I feel like when Fate came out, the visual novel, um, the main heroine was kind of like Saber. You know, like Fate Stay Night's main heroine, like whenever you talk about Fate Stay Night. Saber's face pops up, kind of, you know, if you think of it that way. And I, I also believed Saber was like the main heroine of uh, Fate Stay Night. And Rin and, you know, like uh, Sakura, they were also the main heroine, but not as, like, you know, popular as Saber. So Saber's face always popped up. So she was, Saber was like the main, main heroine, if you can call it like that. Now, I feel like that kind of, that thing kind of faded as days went by. Uh, because everyone realized what you know like it's actually like this is like this is the thing with visual novels visual novels don't have a main heroine they have a main heroine but every root has its separate main heroine and i think visual novel at that time was very like you know new to the western community and you know like everyone was kind of getting into it little by little and i was also kind of getting into it that was the first few like you know like fate stay night was one of the first few visual novels that i played and like we had this kind of a mentality of like oh there'll be like a main heroine and there'll be like side characters and side heroines if you can say it like that we never knew that oh in visual novels there's like every route has a separate main heroine so as we got to know about that and as we watched fate the whole thing of saber being like the main face kind of faded away little by little and um like rin and sakura also became like equally popular so nowadays you know, whenever we talk about fate and if anyone call, talks like you know say it's like oh who's the main heroine in that you know saber's face doesn't pop up in my head the three girls heads pop up saber rin and sakura these three it pops up at the same time because now like you know i've been accustomed to fate and i feel like that's what happens so now like you know seeing saber as the main heroine you know it's kind of unusual so when they said like they're going to do the main heroine route i thought they're going to do it like three separate days three separate days it'll be like three separate heroines and you know it'll be kind of like a visual novel thing but no they did not do it like that so yeah that's why you know you know like i, I feel like that's what happened like in fate saber was the main heroine main main heroine but it slowly slowly started fading away and yeah like the other girls became equally popular like i f i feel like rin's popularity is even more than saber now i don't know you know i'm not sure about this completely but i feel like rin is hugely popular now extremely popular like insane uh so i feel like rin probably surpassed uh, saber's popularity uh, quite a while ago i i don't know you know who knows what will happen if there like you know it's like if there's like a poll now like who do you prefer, Rin or Saber? I don't know who's going to win now. Like previously, it would have been Saber, but I'm, I'm not so sure now. I feel like Rin became huge as time went on. Okay. Like, this is also the thing with Rin for me as well. Like, I'm kind of going in a different uh, direction, but, um, like, for me, Saber was also, like, my best character in Fate when I started. And I really loved Saber so much. But as time went on, Rin kind of started to grow on me. And I'm, like, one of the biggest Rin fan now. You know, like, I'm, I'm one of the biggest Rin fan boys now. And I, like, I can understand that. Like, you know, Rin is a character who you kind of slowly, slowly, you kind of warm up to. I don't know why this is a thing. But yeah, like as 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 more you see Rin and as as you see more of her, like you know, interacting with the characters and everything, I feel like her, like you know, charm kind of increases day by day, and it's kind of like a gradual thing. And uh, yeah, like that's that's the thing about Rin, and I really like you know, I I adore her for that. You know her like everything, like it, it's kind of like a. <laughs> 
like you know the more you spend time with the characters saber was the first character in the like you know in my favorites this previously and rin was probably somewhere here and as time went on it kind of like you know started increasing rin's like you know and rin became my most favorite character i don't know if this is the same thing with other people as well but for me this is how it happened and i'm like the like you know rin is probably not probably it's definitely the best character in fate for me now currently oh yeah anyways um okay so let's talk about the uh main heroine part and oh my god that was really well done here i <laughs> i loved the whole thing of all the other characters kind of getting mad about the whole situation like sakura was just you know in full altar mode you know sakura altar mode she was just like oh boy like i'm i'm preparing a special dish for you senpai here you go <laughs> it's like those worms and oh my god the shapes of the worms was were just censored and everything i understand now why they were censored like you know like obviously if that was not censored i i think <laughs> this episode would have gotten completely blocked or censored <laughs> or something like that oh my god those worms i cannot <laughs> ah <laughs> okay and i don't know why saber didn't do anything saber was just like shiro what's happening and and he he goes to school and rin is pissed off completely rin is like yep what's happening uh, emiyakun is, is there something that you want to uh, say to me <laughs> and okay so and this is like cursing him and everything <laughs> and then we go to shiki's part where seal is just feeding him curry aki has just waiting for him in the bathroom and like uh, kohaku and um hisui i always forget her name hisui kohaku and hisui they were kind of chill with this because i feel like they you kind know, of during that whole uh, date everyone that episode they were the most chill over there and yeah they they were happy so they they did not get mad over here but still and there's just like you know suffering shiro goes back home like rips off the <laughs> wallpaper or whatever and it's like curse marks and everything just like and it's, it was probably rin did it probably rin just left the like you know he, she said something about leaving the house and before leaving the house i think she did all of that and just left and <laughs> i don't know where the hell arshad was up like you know, in, in the whole shiki situation she was not there at all like like what shiro says that she's supposed to be like you know like the most powerful being so she's definitely going to protect you but Arsid was not there at all she was not even there and now here's the thing i don't understand what happened after that they come to the cafe and like shiro and shiki confess about the whole <coughs> situation the harem date situation and i'm like wait a minute isn't it supposed to be a separate route like that didn't happen in this route so why is this conversation happening here and I, I think they probably did it like this like th th that probably happened first the whole harem route thing and then i guess shiki and say uh uh shiro chose the main heroines and i guess that's what happened here or i don't know because they start talking about that but that didn't happen in this route this is supposed to be a branch off route isn't it like the main heroine one and i don't understand that part but anyways I kind of apologize for it and all the girls are here oh my god this scene reminded me of so much of persona 5's you know um the the, the one where <laughs> if you actually try to like you know woo multiple girls it's like the final scene where if you confess to one of them all the other girls come in and they just beat you up i think or something happens like that and just leaves this reminded me so much of that because obviously in persona 5 the main place is the cafe you know and here we are also in a cafe the girls come in in persona 5 also the girls come in suddenly and i don't know why but that reminded me of that so much obviously this came a lot before persona 5 but still <laughs> but in persona 5 they beat him up but here they kind of forgave them uh so yeah and oh my god and they're like yeah like you know thank you so much for forgiving us 
<laughs> and they just ran, run out, like, you know, just shoulder to shoulder, Shiro and Shiki. And they're like, oh, our youth has finally begun or something like that. <laughs> but then, like, the day after that, still the same things are happening. Shiro is being fed worms and Shiki is just locked out of his house. And they're like, what? Isn't this supposed to end here? Oh, that was that was really good. I love that 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 final that that whole a main hero in root thing. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, and then the final part, like Nero comes in somehow, <laughs> and Nero was was like, "What the hell is this? Is this all the screen time I'm supposed to get here?" And, <laughs> and Saber is like, and Saber and Nero starts bickering again. Oh my god. Nero calls Saber old <laughs> and Saber call, tells Nero that your citizens never loved you or something like that. <laughs> oh my god. Like these things are so hilarious if you actually know the background, you know, content. Like, you know, the, the background information, the whole thing of um, Saber calling, where is it? Okay, he, I think this is the part. <laughs> Nero says the citizens expecting to see me in all the glory only smile bitterly. <laughs> Saber is like Oh no, that's not Saber. Oh it's 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 one of the other, uh, but still like Saber laughs at that comment. It says like didn't those ex citizens exile you from your own country? <laughs> Saber's just laughing. <laughs> like Red's a riot. <laughs> oh, it's Medusa. Medu that's Medusa's voice. And she's like, you're not the one to talk. <laughs> Nero's like, Blue's old content anyway. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Okay. This, okay, yeah. <laughs> that was hilarious. And then at the end, we see Sakura just being dragged by a rope. My god. What? Okay, this was really good. I enjoyed this. Ah. And thank God we got the last sealed footage of the main heroine route. Finally, in this episode. So yeah, anyways, that was it. Fantastic episode. Um, and uh, yeah, that's, uh, thanks for watching. This was my reaction to uh, Fate Carnival Phantasm Hibichika special. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. Comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out and uh, yeah that's it for this episode now next week will be the final episode of my reacting to fate finding uh fate carnival phantasm content it will be uh the one which is called ilia joe i think the the one i think that's called ilia joe something like that so that one i'm going to react to next week and that will be the end of Carnival fan dads. Obviously, I'm going to continue my fate content as I usually do. You know, like the AMVs or the I'm, I'm kind of doing like uh, reacting to the my room lines and stuff. So those will continue. But this whole Carnival Phantasm is going to end. So sad, but yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed like this, you know this whole journey. Carnival Phantasm is as hilarious as ever. It's never going to get old. And uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> next episode will be the final one so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next week until then goodbye and have a nice day